Thì nó cũng dùng bạn So you ready for Christmas? You buy any Christmas gifts and stuff? <laughs> yeah, you hear me? Yeah. Uh, did you receive uh, did you receive the quiz? Yes, so we made it on the and um, later on today we will show to our participants okay. uh, they can you know do the quiz. Then tomorrow we can open for discussion if they have any kind of problem. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Good afternoon, instructor. Captain Alba. Good afternoon. Uh, good morning. Everyone. Good for me. For me. Good yes. morning. For me. Yeah. Go. I I think uh, the so so the schedule we will start on uh, one fifteen, right? Yes. That's right. Uh, I think yeah. the, the 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 time schedule a little bit like. Uh, I, I think we should uh, have uh, the rest time in uh, during during the, the, the lunch and maybe a little bit longer is more suitable. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes in Asia area, we need a, a little bit uh, longer rest during the lunch. I think okay, uh, no starting from uh, one thirty is better uh, tomorrow also. Tomorrow, starting at uh, 1.30, so it will be just for me, 
Uh, ah, one thirty. So it will be uh, for me seven thirty. Uh -huh. No problem for me. No, 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 no. You, 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 you give me your uh, your your schedule. It's okay for me. It's okay for me. We we uh -huh. we remain we remain in the general time frame. Starting at nine, leaving at six, at uh, four. Yes, at four. And and, uh, and uh, you give me, you propose me something, and uh, I will adapt. No problem. Tomorrow, no problem. <clears throat> Do you agree? Yeah, it's okay for you. I I think that's better for me, but I don't know how about other trainee. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So you manage that on your side, and tomorrow morning you give me your 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 timetable. It's not a problem for me. Okay, we'll give you the timetable for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. Are we waiting uh, somebody else, or may we continue? Uh, for today, because we already said that we will start at one fifteen, so I think. We're still missing some people, but it's okay. I think you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Twenty-one people right now. I think you can start. I think okay, so we start. So, just uh, any any question regarding what we saw uh, this morning, the first part. Any any question, clarification, or something else? Otherwise, we continue. Okay, so we continue. Uh, so I am see I emphasize again on the wording. On the on the documentation uh, on the tools you plan to use, so roughly uh, pillar number two, because we need uh, we need to know what uh, we are talking about. Everybody need to know what we are talking about. So that's the reason why it's extremely essential to have to speak the same language and to define the language in in the uh, SMS documentation. But the reason why I just propose you, uh, so uh, I try to share the screen. Uh, may I share the screen or not? Because it's mentioned deactivated from your side. We, oh. we, we, uh, to share my screen. Mention, uh, okay, yes, now. now, now, now you can share your screen. Okay, I try, uh, okay. Uh, this one, yes. okay. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. for you? Yes. Okay, so, so uh, just to, to come back again, standardize the wording is necessary to, to have the same approach when you perform an analysis. And so I suggest, but uh, I think you know that, some definition coming either from the ICAO definition or coming from the, uh, the IOSA uh, certification or something like that, but more or less, it's quite the same the same definition. So hazard, as I mentioned previously the, with my example, crosswind is a hazard. Uh, but a crosswind for a landing aircraft is, is, is a threat, okay? Hazard is just a condition or object with potential of causing any injuries. It's like, for example, if I take the example of the crocodile, Crocodile is a hazard, but the crocodile in your meeting room is a threat. Okay, you see the difference between hazard and threat. So just to come back uh, in order that everybody speaks the same language. So hazard, SMS definition is coming from, from ICAO. Risk, the same. Uh, we, during uh, my example uh, previously, uh, somebody told me, uh, uh, no, this example is a risk. No, the risk is, uh, is uh, assessment expressed in probability and severity. So uh, risk, uh, when you speak about risk, you have in, the, in, your, in your brain, uh, you have likelihood of a scenario and severity of, uh, of the, the scenario. So you take middle collision, severity maximum, you, you have a loss, uh, you have a lot of damages and so on. Uh, you have a runoff incursion, uh, so severity is less. Uh, so you see that uh, risk is uh, likelihood uh, regarding uh, regarding severity of a scenario. Okay. Uh, 
when we continue threat so yeah. we speak we spoke about threat uh, previously threat potential damage or harm to individual so crocodile itself is just a hazard crocodile in your meeting room is a threat okay I agree with that. So just to, to, to be clear on what is a threat and what is uh, what is a hazard. I come back on my airplane, uh, not properly the ice, so it's a threat because behind that we have a potential damage uh, if we try to take off, okay? Uh, safety principle, so safety principle, sometimes it's with barrier, Sometimes it's written uh, defenses. Never mind. Uh, you you may use you may use a term that is convenient. It's uh, what we put in place uh, to uh, to to control our system or to recover our system. For example, in the Botai, you have a generic event. Uh, before that, you have some defenses to keep control of your situation. After that, of, uh, and, uh, to remain safe before any. If I'm back on my first example, do you remember the report, the pilot report regarding the uh TCAS alert uh, so TCAS basically defenses that allow us to uh, recover in case of in, in case of uh, problem without uh, with uh, another aircraft and all training uh, uh, to use to use the uh, VTCAS for example uh, could be part of the uh, control area so uh, to avoid uh, kind of situation so uh, it's necessary to clarify some some uh, definition in order that uh, if i take I, I i took a lot of example from the pilot side but we can take an example from my um, side imagine uh, imagine uh, a team a maintenance team working on an engine uh, outside Irkut you have to, uh, to change an engine uh, outside the minus uh, 60 degrees uh, so you see that bad uh, bad condition called noise uh, should be could be a hazard uh, leading perhaps in that case uh, to long to to a lot of short cuts uh, in the process uh, to apply the maintenance task and uh, at the end leading uh, to some unsafe condition uh, on the engine. For example, just to take another example, uh, not in the field, not in the field of the, the uh, ops of the pilot side. Okay, so uh, finish. Then, so you, are, you have that. I don't know if you take the same definition or if your uh, authority has the same definition. Uh, it's it's uh, it's a uh, it's a, an abstract from the uh, ECO and Expo. Faces again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go. Okay. We can hear you. Yeah. yeah. Continue. Yeah. Ah uh, yes, your internet was unstable. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. You hear me? Yeah. No. Yes. 
Now it's okay, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yes, please continue. So it's, a, it's okay for you? Yes, now it's okay. Okay, but I will. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Yes, hello. You can share your screen again. Pierre, can you hear us? Ok, tắt con video để tiếp tục chuyện nhỉ? Thế là mình sẽ video share slide. Chứ em share slide không chắc được đâu. Em share slide. 
Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear us? Uh, very, very badly. 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 Uh, huh? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Do you uh, receive me? Yes. 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 Please continue. Okay. So I uh, try to continue. Uh, so uh, we we remain uh, on uh, some wording and uh, and some definition. Probability, when you speak about probability, you have to raise some question uh, because very often, uh, for example, when you speak about uh, uh, in-flight shutdown, uh, it's, uh, you, you, you can refer to uh, your, uh, your airplane, you can refer to your engine, you can refer to the uh, global, uh, global fleet in the world and so on and so on. You see that probability will be very subjective according to what will be your definition in that case, in flight shutdown. It's a very interesting uh, to, 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 assess, uh, to assess the probability in terms of, is, is it the first occurrence or not is the first occurrence in my uh, my department in my uh, organization in my uh, airline or globally uh, have i over occurrence so is it isolated or not so it's quite interesting to do that because you you modify a lot your uh, your matrix uh, depending on how you consider the probability. So probability is very subjective. And uh, once again, it's uh, quite important that you define in your uh, tools uh, how you consider the uh, probability. Okay. Uh, regarding after that, uh, regarding severity, it's the same. It, it is not so uh, so much. Uh, it is not so much uh, subjective because severity of an event is uh, quite clear for everybody uh, because either you have a loss or you have uh, some uh, uh, some death or you have injuries or or or. So it's more uh, it is less complicated to, uh, to, 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 to standardize the severity of an event in comparison with the probability. So to evaluate the severity it's interesting to, uh, to, uh, to raise some question how many lives are at risk? Is it employees? Is it passenger? Is it passerby? Is it general public? The impact, for example, if you if you uh, transport some dangerous goods uh, and uh, you you, uh, you you face with uh, the uh, runway excursion, for example, uh, perhaps you may have some problem of uh, radioactivity or fuel spillage or something like that. So. Severity, uh, you have also to take into account some element uh, before uh, evaluating the severity of your, of your event. And once again, it's necessary to clarify in your documentation way what you take into account to, to define uh, the severity at your level. So, uh, we may, in terms of severity, we may consider a lot of, a lot of things, and, and specifically, uh, we may consider the uh, direct operator proper loss, or third party damage, or damage to the uh, aviation structure. So you may have a lot of uh, elements to take into account. Sometimes, 
uh, the, the airline take just into account uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, damage aspect, damage to the passenger, damage to third party or damage to, uh, to the aircraft. But it could be interesting uh, to take into account also the uh, uh, over, over aspect for that. But the reason why I, I show you uh, an example, but it is not it is not uh, uh, it is not common for everybody. So uh, once again, what you what you plan, uh, what you plan, what you want to, to define and to share with all your uh, all your individuals. And for example, security, you you could take. Uh, what kind of this definition? So basically, basically, everybody take a, a five by five matrix regarding severity and regarding and regarding the uh, likelihood. And so it could be it could be interesting. For example, okay, catastrophic. What does it mean? Equipment destroy. So equipment means uh, the airplane, for example, or multiple death. Okay, we, we put a value on that. Hazardous, major, minor, negligible. So you need to define that in order to classify your risk when you perform later on your uh, management of change. Okay, so uh, this, this is an example. It, it, it is not, it is not uh, uh, something standard. You can use that uh, he, 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 if you if you mind, but it it is not it is not a, a, a standard. For example, a severity minor, we can take uh, uh, we, we we can say minor if uh, the event can be considered as minor. For example, so. Uh, I show you just some example, and it's to, up to you to really clarify what you, you put behind the term catastrophic, the term major, minor, and so on. Uh, oh. Severity. Oh. Oh, yeah. I, uh... I forgot, I forgot this, um, I go too fast. So probability, okay, we spoke about that. And, oh, why, okay. Uh, example of uh, likelihood matrix, uh, frequent, occasional, remote, improbable, extremely improbable, okay. And you, we, we can take, for example, remote, unlikely to occur, possible. The meaning. What does it mean? So you see that when you about likelihood, it is very subjective because you will take two, three. Uh, will tell you no, no, no. It's not remote. It is occasional. No, no. It is not occasional. It is so, so, and so. So you see that. Uh, to, to define the likelihood, uh, it will be uh, very uh, difficult depending on what kind of expert you have with you. Okay? Uh, for the uh, severity, it's less complicated because severity, you speak in terms of money, you speak in terms of a loss, you speak in terms of death, of injuries. So it, it is not so much, uh, so much. Uh, uh, subjective, okay. Any question? No, I think I think you use. Uh, wh wh how do you consider in your tools? So uh, in your uh, in in, uh, in your toolbox, what uh, what kind of definition you have for severity, or what kind of definition you have for likelihood? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hello? Yeah. Can you ask your question again? I think we just- I, 
Yeah, uh, I rephrase my question. Uh, in, in, your, uh, in your process, uh, what kind of definition you have for severity? How many level do you have regarding severity when you quote uh, an event, uh, severity or likelihood? We have the same uh, from one to five and also from the uh, A to E level, the same with you. Okay, and, and what, for example, uh, ju just uh, for, for, for no, not for joking, but for, for playing, where, when you, for likelihood, for example, uh, what you call, uh, uh, what you, at which level you put occasional, for example, what do you consider as occasional? For example, uh, for the, uh, uh, in, uh, in Ho Chi Minh, now I'm staying in Ho Chi Minh, now we have the one runway is closed for yeah. repairing. And yeah. before this, um, back to the service, uh, we, uh, even some uh, taxiway closed also. Yeah. And um, uh, before to, to, to put in line again, and we have to evaluate the, uh, what's the line we call a cotton. Because before this, so many, uh, so many flights have the, the wrong, take the wrong taxi clearance. It means that uh, they go um, take the wrong way. And uh, even now we see more, more, more new taxi way. And uh, this one, this, uh, this event we put into the occasional, uh, occasional this is uh, the value for in this uh, situation for the, for the new, uh, uh, new okay. runway uh, repair, after the new runway finished repairing and also the new uh, taxi way open. Okay, okay. Okay, so uh, likelihood, yes, severity. And at the end, I suppose you have something like that. Uh, basically, an airline take a five by five because it is more more accurate. Uh, but you can you can use uh, you can use another matrix to evaluate uh, to evaluate to 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 assess to assess the risk uh, link link to a, a, a potential scenario. Okay. So, uh, any question regarding the, uh, so up to now it, it was just uh, some, uh, some uh, review regarding SMS and so on. So I think uh, you, are, uh, you are convinced that uh, the uh, terms, the vocabulary and so on has to be very, uh, has to be shared first and, and very clear in order that everybody speaks speak the same language. So uh, we, we, we move to, to the management of change. Management of change, basically, uh, it's, it's, part, it's part of pillar three, yes, but uh, part of pillar three uh, means uh, it's like uh, when you analyze a change, uh, change uh, you, it's like, uh, like a study case or something like that, except that we, uh, we, we, put, we put some milestone to do that. Uh, okay, so, yeah, so uh, behind uh, we, the management of change uh, can, take, uh, can take a lot of, a lot of part of, uh, of uh, our SMS. We can use that from the organization uh, point of view, uh, hazard identification point of view, accident scenario, risk analysis. So uh, we, we have, when we perform, uh, when we perform uh, uh, management of change, we have to take into account all these items. What kind of accident scenario may I face with? Uh, so, for example, I, I, I modify I modify my procedure to uh, to um, uh, my procedure of, to to disarm the escape slide. Uh, so, okay, I start from state A to state B. What kind of accident scenario may I may I face with? What kind of hazard 
can I uh, can I discover? And to do that, I need do I need expert just from uh, maintenance? No, I need expert from uh, cabin crew, from cockpit crew, for example. So uh, you you see that when you take into account a change, you have to clarify the uh, framework of your of your job. So change within an organization can create hazard in the organization or at the interface. Create uh, hazard subcontractor or you may have that, okay? So change could be initiated uh, via the business unit according to new regulation. So you introduce you introduce a new regulation. So you have to perform you have to perform uh, a change management regarding this regulation. Uh, airline merge. So it's a big uh, a big a big issue. This one. You have a new building, you have new staff, you have a new organization, new subcontractor, uh, fleet change, you remove some airplane, you add some airplane, and so on. So you see that management of, of change can be applied uh, to a lot of uh, lot of area, lot of um, yeah, lot of area, lot of discipline. Okay. Uh, change for sure. If you change something. If you start at scratch, so if you start ex nihilo, uh, you do not create new, 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 new threat, new hazard, but you will face with new, 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 new hazard. Okay, so basically, when you change something, so you will create uh, some new hazard, uh, perhaps uh, refer, refer to your uh, modification. Uh, process for the escape slide, perhaps before modifying the, modifying the procedure, you face with some uh, hazard, and now with the new procedure, you, you face with over hazard. So after that, you have to, to do the balance uh, between, uh, between the hazard or the threat or the risk. Okay, so when you perform a change, you have, you create a new, a new hazard. Okay, and uh, you may perhaps know what you create as a as hazard because you perform some benchmark around you, uh, but sometimes you, you 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 are not aware of what kind of hazard. That's the reason why we have developed a process for uh, for the uh, management of change. When you have uh, uh, performed that, uh, so you have to check if you create new hazard, you have to, uh, to create or to consolidate the uh, defenses you have put in place. Either you consolidate or you add uh, additional defenses uh, to, to maintain the same level of, of, uh, of safety. Okay, when you do that, Okay, after that, you need to check if what you put in place is efficient or not. Okay, and for that, you will need to put in place some performance indicator, some feedback process in order to see if the uh, new process, procedure, new situation, new state uh, is better than the previous one. Okay, so tomorrow you change your uh, I came back again on your on your uh, uh, escape slide uh, uh, deploy uh, uh, disarmament procedure. You have to put in place some indicators, some uh, report line, and so on to see if when you have modified your process, uh, it's better uh, than uh, in the past. Okay. So. When you perform a management of change, basically it's interesting uh, to, 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 see, uh, to see how many, how many changes. Is it, is it a big change? 
or is it an incremental change? What we call incremental change, when you, when you look at the, uh, at the aviation history, uh, you see that uh, basically aviation industry has evolved uh, during the past last uh, 40 years through incremental change and effective change management. Example, example uh, aircraft accident, as we saw in the previous slide, uh, aircraft accident has been reduced through incremental change. We first start with the standardization of uh, certification rules. After we uh, add the operational rules, after we CRM, after quality. So we see that via incremental change in the cockpit, uh, we we change we we uh, we gain we 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 gain in uh, in uh, in safety. Okay, uh, same same in the cockpit automation. Uh, we introduce we introduce the uh, ground proximity warning system. We avoid a lot of uh, 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 loss of control in flight. We introduce TCAS, we avoid a lot of control mid-air collision. Uh, we introduce weather radar, uh, the brand new river radar. Uh, we avoid uh, some problem with, uh, uh, with uh, weather condition. So you see that uh, in, the, in the cockpit, basically, and in the automation of the, of the airplane, uh, we move, uh, we move via, uh, via incremental change. And at each time, it has been necessary to evaluate the, how the margin we, we gain in, in terms of safety. Okay, uh, the same regarding training. For example, uh, training uh, as a, Crew training, basically crew training, but also we we can do the same for the we can do the same for the maintenance. But uh, crew training have been proved through uh, incremental change, uh, development, full motion simulator, CRM, checklist evolution, uh, uh, EBT, and so on and so on. So we see that in the history of aviation, we very often. Uh, evaluate uh, via incremental change. Deep change, uh, we may face with that, but it's very complicated. And, and typically, typically, uh, you merge two companies, it will be a deep change, okay? So if you continue on that, so, um, what we discuss uh, uh, change from a safety analysis. It's the same uh, because the objective, the objective of safety analysis, is to determine if uh, your new state, you 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 start from one state and you go to another state, is safer than the previous one. So. Uh, Somebody propose a change. Uh, does it affect the, the organization? No. So we stop there. Yes. Do we produce uh, some uh, new risk? Yes. Not. Depending on that, we perform the analysis. We'll show that on some example tomorrow or this afternoon uh, if we have time. Okay. So deep change basically deep change focus on a major change and uh, major change generally speaking uh, on a daily basis you will have have to uh, more or less uh, uh, incremental changes uh, instead of deep changes okay it's a new way of thinking and behaving so a deep change is uh, when you merge two company uh, i experienced that in the past it's uh, really difficult for all people uh, because you change everything you change the plane okay you change uh, 
the methodology, you change the documentation, you change the process, you change the organization, and so on and so on. So, so it's, uh, it's really disturbing. Uh, but necessary to, 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 keep, uh, to keep in the market, to keep in the market, to stay in the market. Okay? And, uh, and very often, in that case, you need, uh, you need uh, somebody outside the organization to, to help you because uh, it's quite difficult to perform a change analysis, a big, a big one, a deep one, when you are in, uh, in, involved, involved in the business. So uh, basically, when you, when you perform a, a change analysis, you will face with some uh, resistance because uh, human, human is very reluctant to change to change uh, to change the uh, process procedure and so on and perhaps during uh, your your example uh, your i came back on the on the escape uh, slide on airbus 321 perhaps you saw uh, people uh, reluctant reluctant to change uh, to change a uh, procedure because when you leave your comfort zone uh, some time I, it is not uh, really easy to uh, to learn a new process to learn a new procedure to apply a new task uh, and so on and so on. okay hello yes are you there yeah yes ah, okay okay i'm so uh, Change very often in uh, uh, old fashion and new fashion. You will have all procedure, all tasks, and so on, because the comfort zone uh, is, is there, and uh, some people will be reluctant to to go further and to, and to, to modify. Uh, I have in mind. Uh, I have in mind an example. Uh, Twenty years ago, we push. Twenty years ago, we push our plane with a tractor, with a tractor, uh, with a toba, with a toba. Uh, so you 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 have you had uh, a driver outside driver, and you have uh, uh, another guy. Uh, uh, after that, we, we moved to, uh, for 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 uh, small move to uh, what has been called uh, PPU uh, power uh, power unit. Uh, it was very interesting for the human resource uh, uh, guys because you remove one guy and you have just one one, one guy performing the push and, and the radio cockpit and. Uh, from the old procedure with the with helping you to push and with just one guy with the power push unit and it, we face with a lot of uh, event uh, regarding safety uh, safety of uh, the guy safety of other aircraft and so on and 20 years ago, we do not speak about SMS. Uh, we didn't speak about about uh, change uh, management. But if we if we had uh, if we have had, we the of uh, uh, miss uh, miss uh, accident. Okay, so just to 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 give you to give you my my feedback uh, regarding uh, regarding uh, the. Uh, uh, that and uh, depending on the culture of uh, of each country of each uh, of each uh, organization, you may face uh, it could be uh, and uh, you have to manage that also. Okay. Uh, so, okay, are you okay? Are you still there? <laughs> We're still here. 
Ah, okay. Any any question? Because it's it's quite difficult. It's quite difficult to uh, to interact. And uh, and uh, sometimes I am trying to because I know if you if I am boring you or not, or if uh, if what I say is so so, so it's it's a little bit. Continue. Có ai có câu hỏi gì không ạ? Yes, yes, thank you. Hello, Pia. Yeah, do you hear me? Yeah. Hello? Hello, hello? Yes. It's okay. Uh, it's just the connection. Okay, we continue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, please. I think you have to share your screen again. For you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Connection lost. Okay. Okay. No. Uh. I think it's, yeah, that's okay. Seems good for you? It looks good? <laughs> okay. And now, you see you see my uh, PowerPoint? Yes, I do see your PowerPoint. Well, we do see it. We continue, we continue. Uh, so to... Uh, if it comes from the top, from the 
uh, accountable manager without any uh, necessary to take the sometimes uh, one day uh, perhaps it's clear it's clear here can you repeat that Okay, is it okay for you? Yes. Good. Okay, okay, good, good. Uh, so you may you may move to the next one. Okay, we are sharing the screen. Okay, uh, so, so uh, when you perform uh, when you perform the uh, change management, you need uh, you need to, to take uh, the opinion of uh, of everybody because very often, uh, how does it work uh, in a department? Uh, something like want to modify or to change a, a checklist, a task, a process, a procedure, and so on. And uh, uh, we do not take into account, uh, we do not take into account the, uh, the opinions of other people. Uh, specifically, uh, you want to, to change uh, some procedure in your loading, uh, uh, in, in your loading uh, uh, department. Uh, if you do not take uh, the opinion of, of the subcontractor, uh, that propose uh, that perform for you the loading and unloading of aircraft. I think you will uh, you will uh, spend time first, and you and you miss you miss some hazard. So uh, don't forget uh, to take into account opinion of all uh, interested party. Okay. Uh, when you plan to, to, to perform a change, uh, so also uh, try to have a rationale of your change uh, and try to, to explain what you, you have to You will avoid some, uh, some resistance after that. At the end, uh, well, if you change something, it, it is to have some, uh, some benefits. Uh, regarding cost, so also it's uh, it's quite interesting when you perform uh, a change uh, to explain what you what you gain, uh, what is the benefits, uh, why you do that, uh, and, and so on. And sometimes you will need to adapt or to customize 
to customize something. It is not interesting to, to reinvent the wheel. Uh, basically, uh, when you change a process or a procedure, uh, you look at that side uh, if uh, an line has performed the uh, same, uh, same change, uh, you see, you see the, uh, the, the end of the change and you may adapt uh, without any uh, big, uh, big investigation. So you see that uh, very often uh, the resistance to, to the change can be managed uh, via simple, uh, simple means. Okay, next. Okay, so we are going uh, to see uh, step by step uh, the, uh, the element of management of change. Uh, so uh, to, when you start uh, a change, so ne ne never mind, never mind, well, never mind the, uh, the, the, the change, uh, you have to establish the framework. Uh, so first uh, you need, you need to, uh, to develop the case. And for that, uh, you you have to raise you have to raise some some uh, some question. Why is the change required? What is the purpose of the vision and well defined? What are my objectives? My in terms of. Uh, Whatever we want. What is the scope of the, of the change? Uh, because very often we plan uh, to change something. The what kind of benefits may, may, may I have after the change? Uh, have, I, have I any, any limitation? I have any restriction? To do that, a restriction, for example, regarding unions, a restriction regarding uh, uh, environment, a restriction regarding a lot of things. To raise before, before that, according to who uh, start the uh, first step of your analysis. I can continue. Uh, who is involved in the change. I am alone. I am alone uh, my department or uh, my department plus maintenance plus uh, contractor so so and so. Okay. Uh, what resource, what risk do I need to do that? What, uh, uh, what will be my communication plan? Uh, so you see that when you start the case, uh, you need first to clearly define who will be involved, what will be the frame, the, the, the frame of your job, what, is the, the, what will be the, the limit, and uh, it, it will be the, the, the first step, the first step of my of my analysis. Next. Okay, second one. Uh, we have to uh, conduct risk and opportunity planning. So uh, to do that, to do that, we have some activity. I call that care activity, but uh, never mind. Uh, whatever the, the term you 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 want to to use. Uh, so first, you have to uh, make up your team uh, to conduct uh, the risk analysis. Uh, so uh, what kind of people? What kind of experts? I put in my uh, in my brainstorming uh, to do that, uh, and, and uh, for example, uh, you 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 need uh, you have to be sure uh, you have to to ensure that the right level of consultation takes place. Uh, you need to select your teams that cover the scope. Uh, regarding uh, regarding that, uh, you need to use a, a structure risk identification technique. So, what are my uh, what 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 are my weaknesses? What are my, my what are my strengths? What are my opportunity? 
where are the threats, the hazards. So, and after that, uh, you need for sure uh, to develop a risk management plan. Okay, next. Okay, after that, you prepare the project. Have a key, a key actor, so you have to to appoint. We can we can call that a, appoint a project director or project manager. You you, you may use the word you want, and be a progress of your study. Okay, so is the German or? will be accountable to the bench and to report to uh, the top management, to the bosses and, and, and so on. And uh, he will be in charge to develop the project, how we do that, with what kind of tools, what kind of resources, human resources, financial resources, do we need external, uh, external experts, and so on. Uh, so uh, it will be uh, part of the, of the, uh, of the uh, step three. Uh, so it's essential to specify the objective to be achieved. It's essential to identify the uh, critical success factors, for example, personnel, time, resources. Uh, it's necessary to allocate resources and uh, also it will be necessary to perform some uh, reporting on, 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 on some uh, on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Be uh, to the top manager. Okay, so, so uh, it will be, it is, it is some tips. It is, it is some tips for the, uh, for the uh, step three. Okay, uh, step four. Next one, step four. So you you now uh, the change has been studied, has been evaluated, and so on. So you have to implement. You have to implement that. Uh, so you have defined your action plan, requisite what, and so on and so on. And at the end, uh, so okay, we we implement the change and we do the job. So. Uh, for that, uh, we have to adopt a structure project oh, management, yeah. and uh, we have to focus on managing priority area first. It is essential to to do that. Implementation is also a communication. So many people in the organization will want the benefits of the change, but will need to be given a high level of cost. Will outweigh the cost. Uh, again, uh, once again, uh, communication is essential. Uh, top down, top to down, and. Uh, Dissemination of information is quite quite important. Okay, so uh, we continue. Yeah. Can you turn on your mic? Yes. Is okay. it okay for you? Yes, very well. Thank you. Okay. We continue on getting uh, the preview steps. Thank you. 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 Um, here we can the, the yeah. sorry. Can you just repeat step four? Well, that's okay. 
You you want to come back on step four? Yes, please. Okay. So step four is for, yeah. Step four is for the implementation. We implement uh, this is uh, where the change uh, take place, and principles of change management are used to guide the activity. Uh, up, 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 up. You stay, you stay on this one, or, or we move to step five? Uh, step four. Could you mind explain step four once again? Okay, I explain again. Step four, execute, implement the project plan, develop in step three. So what we have developed in step three, we implement uh, the project plan uh, in step four. This is where the change takes place and the principles of change management are used to guide the activity, focus, and approach adopted in this step. Okay, the pace of change and the required momentum also need to be considered in step four. For larger and more complex projects, the change implementation program may need to be maintained over several years. For sure, you you introduce a new airplane. Uh, I suppose you introduce the Airbus 350. For the project, one year, two years, perhaps, to be fully fully analyzed and fully implemented. Okay, so the cultural and organizational factors need to be considered also. Okay, to ensure that the change is implemented smoothly and effectively. Uh, the key uh, to effective implementation is engagement from the top management and communication. Many people in the organization will want the benefits of change, but will need to be given a high level of confidence. So, take into account that when you perform a change, uh, the, uh, the implication of the top management need to be very, uh, very uh, important. Okay, so as tips, I may suggest for this step to focus on uh, getting it right. It is more than just a policy. Uh, very often we can see uh, change is just a policy, but not, it is not uh, just a policy because you modify the daily basis operation for a lot of people. And as a tips, also adopt a structured project and focus on managing priority rear first. Okay, next one, step five. Okay, so you have implemented your change. Uh, so if you want to check if uh, uh, your uh, previous analysis is correct, efficient, relevant, you need to monitor and to review step by step what you put in place. And step five, uh, you have uh, some key activity mentioned over there. And uh, the objective is to ensure that the change is implemented as intended, okay? And the uh, changing circumstances do not alter priorities. The plan must be constantly monitored, review, and adjust when, when necessary, okay? Uh, maintain communication and consultancy with all stakeholders. Uh, it, should be, it should be interesting. So what could be, what should be monitored? Knowledge, first, new factor information are included. Uh, stakeholder, we have to consider new stakeholder, perhaps. Consultation, communication, uh, common understanding. So during the ongoing monitoring process and review, you have to check that everybody continue to speak the same language. Otherwise, uh, it should be difficult to, uh, to, uh, to 
to to have uh, to have a good result uh, to have a good result in our analysis uh, and uh, effectively at the end you have also to check the effectiveness of the implement of your implementation plan okay so some tips for that uh, provide effective feedback so to provide effective feedback you need to have a clear report line so uh, common report for that or something like that uh, so you you need to have a report but you you need to have also people uh, who analyze the report and can adjust adjust the uh, the, the plan uh, that's the reason why also you are you need to be flexible because uh, if your change uh, lasts a uh, uh, long time you, perhaps sometime you you need to uh, to re uh, to reanalyze or, or to adjust adjust your plan uh, and also as a tips you have to identify the result achieve your objective uh, if you don't have any any indicator regarding how can i check that my uh, implementation uh, is uh, is already uh, done uh, it will be difficult to uh, to to state to yeah to 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 stay to your boss but the change is effective is relevant and is uh, already performed okay so uh, at the end you need to develop some uh, indicator and, and some uh, uh, yes yeah, some indicator to to be uh, to to clearly uh, uh, have uh, a good a good a good idea of your of your of your change Hello? Yes. Hello, hello? <laughs> Keep going. Is it okay for you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No question? Any question? <laughs> no question. So, okay. So, we continue. Uh, so, uh, when we perform, when we perform the uh, uh, management of change, it's like a safety study. Uh, because we change the procedure, we try to know if uh, uh, if uh, we change something in the procedure, we'll face with new hazard or not. Uh, we maintain the same level of uh, of safety uh, and so on and so on. So it's like uh, to perform uh, money, uh, change money, uh, change management. It's like to perform a safety study. Uh, so. That's the reason why safety study are guideline uh, for management of change. And we use a safety study to perform uh, uh, change management. Uh, at the end, uh, like uh, any safety study, uh, you must evaluate the risk. And uh, is it necessary to introduce a new, uh, new, uh, new barrier, new defense, and so on? Or uh, I, I can trust on what is already in place, and that's all. I just continue to check if uh, everything is uh, efficient and, and safe. Okay, so all that stuff, uh, when you perform uh, the safety study, the management change, and so on, has to be done and documented in accordance with your policy processes and tools. Tools, pillar two of the SMS, uh, policy, pillar one, processes, pillar, uh, processes sorry, pillar one, uh, and after that, uh, communication, and so on. Okay? Uh, so we we take a five minute break. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, we take a five five minute break and we and we continue on, and we continue on, on that. That's okay for you. Yes, sounds okay for us. Okay, <laughs> five minutes. Thank you.
Hello, hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think we just gonna turn off everybody. You know the the videos, so the cameras. Yeah. So um, probably the connection will be better. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. We continue. Uh, not yet. I think there was still like two three minutes. Okay. Okay. No problem. Uh, in the meantime, uh, you may collect uh, all uh, uh, all question. Yeah. <laughs> you may have and, and we discuss uh, okay okay no problem i am waiting for you yep J -j just uh, we 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 may speak about tomorrow just uh, the time the timetable or not J just in the meantime may, may we discuss about uh, uh the, the break and then uh, work timetable for tomorrow Sure. Um, so lots of feedback will be, we're going to um, having the lunch around 12 and then finish at 1.30. Then we might extend our discussion until 4.30 something. How yeah. is that for you? That's all right. Vietnam time, by the way. Uh, okay. So lunch will be uh, between, uh, okay. So lunch, instead of one hour, you, you plan to take one hour and a half. Correct. Yes. One hour and a half. So one, okay, and, one, and to finish one, and to finish at four thirty. Just let me check if uh, if it's okay for me tomorrow four thirty. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 We can do that. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. We start at three. Uh, we start at nine. Sorry. We start at nine and we finish at uh, at four thirty for you and uh, one hour and a half uh, break uh, for lunch. It's okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, okay, no problem. <coughs> COVID? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for outside visitors, whenever ah. we go to um, the DNA um, headquarters, we have to test to do a quick test. Yeah. So I heard there was a new virus, right? Is any change in in France for the regulation? Because UK is closing the border. Yeah. So is, is there any change in France as well? Can you update to, to us? Uh, we, which, uh, I'm sorry, could, could, you, could you rephrase? It's a new virus, if you know, Omicron, the new yeah. virus of COVID. Yeah. So yeah. is there any change in, in France at the moment? Yeah. yeah. Is there any change? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us maybe, do you, have you experienced any changes? or any restriction from, from the government, from the government? Uh, we experience some restriction, yes, in France, because we close, uh, we close some flight, we stop, we stop some flight, uh, all flight coming from uh, uh, South Africa, coming from, uh, uh, yes, yeah, South Africa, basically, uh, we, we have stopped, uh, uh, we, all, all, all passengers arriving this morning at quarantine for seven days, for example, yeah. So can you still travel like for the people who who uh, arrive in the airport? How can they travel back to their home if they're not staying, for example, in Paris? So uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a it's a big issue. It's a big issue for the time being. Uh, but uh, I do not travel recently. I do not travel to uh, to such country. So. Yeah, I think everybody is here. So uh, please. I think we should continue our lesson now. Yeah, okay.
Yeah. Yeah. We ready? Ready, ready. Uh, do you have uh, Do you have any any question or any Do you need some clarification or something else regarding what we saw uh, up to now? No. Yeah, I think no one has questions. So. Okay, no problem. Uh, if you have a, uh, j j just one thing, uh, if you have uh, later some question, uh, do not hesitate to, to send an email or something like that. Huh? Uh, it was a pleasure to to answer to your to your question. If you need some clarification or something like that, no problem. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. I tell you what of change is like a safety study. We have the same the same way to proceed, the same manner to proceed. Uh, so uh, we need to clearly establish a, a plan for that. And I suggest just a suggestion uh, to, to, to use that kind of, of uh, steps uh, to do your uh, analysis. So first, we need a plan why uh, in order basically in order to avoid uh, to miss uh, to miss some element or to 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 miss some uh, some question and so on and so on so basically i suggest that you 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 nominate uh, somebody and first uh, we uh, we establish we write a plan and what start to framework of the studies. Uh, for example, uh, this morning, uh, uh, I saw you a slide with some uh, uh, requested approach uh, required by, uh, by you. And uh, basically, uh, basically, first, uh, we need to clarify the framework, uh, the limit of the analysis. Otherwise, it will be, it will be very, very complicated. It will be too much resource consuming, uh, time, financial, and so on. And uh, you, 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 will, you, need, you need really to uh, clarify the framework. Uh, for that, when, when we speak about a study framework, we speak about uh, what kind of disciplines are interesting in my studies, what kind of processes, what kind of individuals, uh, which tasks are impacted? Uh, so I come back on your on your, uh, on your uh, problem of uh, uh, escape slide on Airbus 320. Uh, so who is involved? Basically, uh, the maintenance. Basically, cabin crew, cockpit crew. Perhaps some subcontractor. I don't know. Perhaps what what are the processes involved? Uh, so we. Uh, cockpit checklist, cabin uh, procedure, uh, maintenance uh, procedure, and so on. Uh, what kind of expert may I use for that? So you see that basically uh, your, your plan, when you perform a, a safety study or a management of change study, uh, you need to clarify the limit of your analysis. And to clarify the limit means uh, who will be involved in, in my brain, by brainstorming and, uh, and, and uh, what kind of processes, what kind of individual and so on. Okay, so first, the limit. Uh, otherwise, you will spend uh, too much resources, uh, you will spend too much time and, uh, and, and uh, too much finance uh, to, 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 to do that. Okay, uh, another example, you, you plan to modify your, the way how you, uh, you proceed to load or unload uh, your, uh, your catering. Uh, so, uh, so you need, uh, you need a, a pilot, you need a cabin crew, you need a ground staff, you need a, a ground handling, uh, subcontractor and so on and so on, for example. 
So you see that uh, depend, depending on, on your framework, you will have uh, you will have more or less people, more or less experts, and so on. Uh, Sometimes it's really interesting to have uh, uh, people uh, not very aware of your discipline, uh, because uh, very often that kind of people will ask, will raise some question that perhaps you you don't have any any idea. And uh, sometimes it's it's really then to, to have a somebody in your brainstorming, uh, not very familiar with uh, with the discipline, but uh, raising uh, interesting or pertinent uh, question. Okay, so uh, after that, uh, after that, uh, the stakeholder uh, stakeholders the same. Uh, we need uh, we we need. Uh, who, uh, what kind of people will be relevant in in uh, in the in, in the brainstorming? Uh, so sometimes it, it could be interesting to have people from the manufacturer, people from the authority, people from another airline who has already implemented that kind of change. Perhaps it should be interesting. Uh, example: When you introduce a new airplane, uh, if you don't know what kind of airplane, uh, you 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 use Airbus and you plan to to introduce a Boeing, uh, it should be interesting to, uh, to 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 collect information or to share information or to have as expert somebody operating uh, the same kind of aircraft, for example. Okay, so. After that, uh, you, to perform your analysis, you you need you need to 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 have data. Uh, data. What kind of data? It depends on on, on your subject. Uh, you you introduce a new procedure. You modify your procedure to arm and disarm the uh, the, uh, the escape slide. So you need you need. Uh, uh, data regarding the uh, event throughout the world. So data coming from ICAO, data coming from your authority, data coming from uh, the uh, unions, uh, data coming uh, from uh, uh, the uh, certification authority, for example. Uh, so it's, 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 it's quite interesting. Okay, benchmark. Uh, benchmark. Basically, uh, when you when you do uh, when you do management of change, don't reinvent the wheel. Don't reinvent the wheel and look at outside outside your department, outside your uh, company, uh, outside your country to see if somebody uh, is applying uh, the same change or has already performed. Uh, a study regarding that and so on and so on. For example, it should be interesting. Okay. So, what about the same subject in other airline or uh, over uh, department or, or so and so? Okay. Uh, when you do that, uh, so when you perform uh, uh, management of change, you start. Uh, from a state A and you go to state B. So you have nothing and you start with a new procedure or you have a procedure and you plan to modify the procedure. So you have a two state, two state uh, and you have to uh, check the gap analysis uh, between both, uh, both uh, uh, change. Okay, if you if you start from scratch, uh, okay, it's quite simple. Uh, if you start from something existing, uh, so you have to analyze where are the modifications. I came back on your uh, on your procedure regarding uh, regarding the uh, step slide. Uh, be, before changing the procedure. Okay, uh, it was like that, and so on and so on. After it will be like that. So where is the gap? Is the gap is belonging more or less to the maintenance, more or less to ground, uh, ground handling, and so on and so on. So you see that uh, depending on the on your gap analysis, you will 
uh, you will already analyze some, some potential uh, threat or hazard. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, when you have performed your, your gap analysis, you need to evaluate your, your risk uh, because you move from state A to state B. Uh, so you have, uh, uh, you, you, you have to find uh, some uh, new uh, threat, new hazard, mm -hmm. and uh, same mm -hmm. as for, for previously, uh, likelihood, severity, what is the risk assessment regarding uh, each, each item. And uh, at the end, when you have performed all the study, uh, so you have to put in place, you have to put in place the, the, uh, the action plan. And for that, uh, you need to allocate resources. Uh, you need to allocate resources and to manage a follow-up. How to manage a follow-up uh, via some uh, uh, feedback report via some uh, indicators uh, and uh, basically via oversight or audit or something like that. Okay. Hello. 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 Yeah. Do you agree? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, but, but, but basically when we perform the change, so we identify the change, we assess the change, we approve for sure. If we do something, we approve it, we communicate, we implement it, and after that we have to monitor. It's, it's uh, like a, a dimming rule, uh, will, sorry. It's like a will, you, you identify, you assess the change, you approve the change, you implement the change, you monitor if it's free thing is okay. And at the end, you record if uh, uh, you record what you do. Okay. So next slide. Uh, safety study, uh, basically, uh, but it is not a rule, uh, but uh, basically the SMS manager is responsibility of safety study production. So. For example, uh, safety management, uh, um, sorry, uh, change management will be under the responsibility of, uh, of the safety manager. Uh, so I don't know, I don't know what is your, uh, your organization, but uh, if you have a centralized, if you have a centralized organization, uh, more or less, it's, it's interesting because uh, you, you will avoid uh, avoid some duplication. But if you have uh, uh, SMS uh, manager per discipline, uh, don't, for, don't forget, don't forget to, uh, don't forget to, uh, to coordinate at high level uh, all, the, all the entry coming, all the entries uh, coming from the different uh, discipline. Okay, uh, otherwise uh, you, you will, uh, miss uh, some, some, some elements. So in your organization, take care of who is in charge of, of that, because uh, depending on the position of this gentleman or this lady, uh, you, may, you may perhaps miss, miss something. Uh, take care also of, uh, of the, of the uh, oversight of, uh, of this gentleman. Is it possible by uh, uh, Mr. Flight Ops to oversight uh, the job performed by maintenance? In some company, yes. In other, no. Uh, so uh, take care in your organization uh, uh, when you appoint, appoint uh, the, the guy in charge of uh, safety study. Uh, uh, take into account that he can uh, he, he can works. Uh, it can work with uh, with uh, all people engaged in the, in the analysis. Okay. Uh, very often, it will be necessary after the implementation, or or, or in parallel with the implementation, to train uh, personnel. 
so uh, it should be also the, uh, the objective of the SMS manager to be responsible for adequate training also, okay? Uh, sometime uh, when you when you will uh, make up your uh, your crew uh, your, for brainstorming, uh, you need perhaps to have some uh, additional training uh, in some area for such or such uh, expert. Okay. Okay. Next. So a safety study, uh, it's a more or less uh, uh, to, to clarify to clarify some point, uh, but uh, when we start, uh, I, uh, I tell you that it is really important to check uh, to check the uh, uh, to to clarify the framework of the job. Uh, so it's it's a, it's a really important, and uh, for that uh, we need to evaluate the need for safety study. Is it is it a new technology? We install a new a new TCAS. We install. Uh, we modify a procedure for uh, disarming uh, the escape slide, and so on and so on. Uh, we need also to see uh, to see the trend of the K performance indicator already installed, already used uh, or not. So uh, first, also we need to evaluate uh, evaluate uh, what kind of what kind of uh, of things. Next. Uh, when you have a perform, uh, when when you do that, uh, and when you launch officially, uh, when you launch the safety study, uh, you have to notify uh, everybody that the study is in progress, and uh, study is in progress, and uh, uh, accordingly, uh, you will have defined all parties. Uh, you will have uh, a good uh, a good uh, approach of the scope of your uh, uh, analysis. What kind of wh what kind of output you may expect, and and what will be the following process? Because when you uh, when you will have finished your analysis, uh, for sure you move to the follow up process. And uh, and it's it's also quite important uh, because it is via the follow-up process that you may correct uh, in a short term your analysis or you may uh, see if, if you uh, forgot uh, some uh, some hazard or some threat. Okay. Next. Uh, when uh, you have performed uh, first two steps, so uh, risk management the same. So for that, uh, for sure, you need uh, you need to have uh, your your tools, uh, your own tools uh, regarding uh, the uh, hazard log, uh, regarding uh, risk matrix, and so on, uh, to to see if uh, if uh, the uh, change. Uh, will be uh, will be uh, important or not, and uh, for sure, uh, if you perform a change, uh, you 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 have to to raise one question: Is it the first occurrence of a change or not? Uh, I come back again on my uh, procedure or uh, during pushback. Uh, we move a lot in, in some company. Uh, some company move a lot uh, be, uh, between. Uh, uh, pushing with a power push, pushing with a tractor, pushing with a two bar less, and so on and so on. And, and sometimes uh, pilots are very reluctant to change the push procedure uh, because uh, there is a lot of occurrence of that. So uh, take, care, take care when you, you modify something or you add something. Uh, is this the first occurrence of such change? Yes, no. Uh, it, could, it could impact. It could impact your uh, your uh, your analysis. Okay. Secondly, uh, does the change have a direct impact on flight safety? Uh, 
uh, instead of pushing with two personnel, uh, driver and the wingman, uh, I push with only, only one. Uh, so uh, I have to analyze the study, uh, the effect of my uh, new procedure. I change, I change uh, the, uh, the loading, uh, the loading of the catering. Uh, I have perhaps to, to see the impact on flight safety uh, and so on and so on. And is all, the, uh, all industry concerned or not? Uh, is uh, really interesting because if it is all industry, you may you may think uh, uh, more or less that uh, the study has been already performed by somebody or by a lot of company, by a lot of uh, uh, airline. So it will be more easy, easy. It will be easier for you uh, for the analysis. Otherwise, if you are the first one. Uh, it should be, it should be uh, perhaps uh, more difficult, but everything, everything is uh, is uh, is possible. Okay. Uh, step five, next one. We move to the. To Oh, yeah, next one. Yeah, next one. He, he, uh, so, he, except if you have a, uh, except if you have some question. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hello. I think we just finished step three, and we're con coming to step four. Correct. Uh, yeah, we were at, at four, but uh, if you want, I come back on four. You, you, you lost, uh, you lost my communication. Uh, no, I think we just finished this one, you know, like with the safety scope. Yeah. You mentioned the environment, correct? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so step five. Uh, to perform uh, that kind of analysis, uh, it should be interesting to, to define a, a preliminary questionnaire uh, regarding, uh, for example, who is involved, uh, who is involved with the change, at which level uh, have we to go to analyze, and so on and so on. So uh, basically, uh, all the steps are the same as uh, uh, those mentioned previously for the, uh, for the um, study analysis. And, and you see that uh, if you have a strict approach uh, a very strict approach of the of the problem. You you never had you never face with uh, difficulties. Okay. Okay. Step uh, next one. Uh, step six. So uh, after that, you need uh, you need to define uh, the your investigation. Uh, for that, you need uh, you need. Uh, uh, a strict a structure methodology for that. Who to consider at what operational or, or non-operational position? So I take vision gentleman of this one. Yes, no, or perhaps. Uh, which regulatory background? Uh, what kind of expert may I put in place? Is it my expert? Is it expert from the authority, from the manufacturer, and so on? So it should be interesting. To, to, to go deeply in what kind of information and uh, what kind of document I, I need to, to start my, uh, my study uh, document from, uh, from me, from my department, from my organization, from my company or outside. Uh, so basically I come back again on, uh, on, the, uh, on the escape slide. Uh, Sometimes uh, Airbus, or Boeing issue some uh, manufacturer bulletin uh, related to some uh, uh, related to safety issue, and in that case, I don't know if, if it is the case for the slide, uh, but it's the case for for some uh, some issues. Uh, it can issue some uh, uh, safety bulletins regarding uh, regarding the uh, change we plan to do. So. Uh, it's 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 quite important also to collect uh, to collect all relevant 
uh, document uh, you may you may you may have inside outside in your department outside the company and so on. okay uh, -da -da, step seven step seven uh, when you perform your analysis you have to take into account the uh, internal aspect uh, benchmark so benchmark you you look at the your colleague in your another department perhaps he perform uh, you plan to to change the organization of a business unit uh, perhaps uh, this job has already been made by your colleague in another discipline uh, and it uh, could be interesting uh, to uh, to analyze or to discuss uh, uh, with, uh, its, uh, its own uh, own analysis. So benchmark is essential when you perform a, a change. Uh -huh. Bench, benchmark is essential. Internal benchmark, external basically uh, is also external is is really important. Uh, for the COVID, for example, a lot of a uh, lot of company have shared what they they do in the simulator, what they do in the cockpit, and so on and so on, and they develop uh, globally. Uh, globally, uh, they develop the same uh, the same procedure uh, regarding uh, COVID, uh, regarding the interface uh, between cockpit crew and cabin crew, and so on and so on. For example, so so it's quite. Uh, quite interesting to 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 perform a benchmark uh, because uh, you you don't reinvent the wheel and in, in that case uh, you you avoid to to spend uh, to waste uh, to to avoid to to spend too much time. Okay. Uh, what are the? Oh, sorry, come back on the previous one. Yeah. So, uh, what are the assumption or factor consider? Uh, what are the assumption? Uh, yes, uh, for example, uh, I, I plan I plan to operate uh, I plan to operate a destination with an aircraft uh, with uh, an aircraft, but uh, without the auxiliary power unit. Okay, I do that for one week, for one month, for one year. So you see that depending on the assumption uh, you you put in place. Uh, for your change, uh, perhaps you you don't have the same uh, answer regarding uh, what kind of uh, uh, remedial action may I put in place, uh, or what kind of additional barrier may I put in place, and so on. Okay, so number four, uh, past related data. So it's the same when you perform a benchmark. Uh, you you need uh, you need to see uh, to 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 have the feedback from others, others uh, in the same discipline, others in the same business, over uh, throughout the world. And what is interesting when you modify something, it's to look at the past incident or the past report and so on. To do that, you need to be, uh, to, 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 to be part uh, of uh, a sharing program belonging to your authority, or belonging to IATA, belonging to ICAO, or something like that. But you will find very interesting data uh, if you look at uh, the past uh, incident report and so on. And at the end, also, uh, what is interesting to see and to take into account, uh, it's uh, the lesson learned. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you remember the uh, the. Uh, Rio accident uh, in 2009, uh, but after this accident, we face with other accident over Indonesia, over Africa, and we discover, we we in bracket, we discover the operator discover, but also expert, also also weather uh, weather specialist uh, and so on. We uh, we learn uh, we learn about ice crystal, what we call today as crystal. And we, we, we learn a lot after that kind of accident and that allows uh, company to develop a lot of training device uh, in the simulator or, uh, or uh, documentation or video and so on regarding the ice crystal. So uh, now uh, we, we, we have now 
so 10 years later, we have a, a, a global view, a good, a good approach of what is the, uh, what is the ice crystal phenomenon. And, uh, and we learn a lot uh, from, from the previous, previous accident. So you, 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 you see that uh, it's quite important uh, benchmark in general, uh, in general is very important and avoid to spend too much time, uh, too much resources uh, to reinvent the wheel because it is not necessary. If it is already done by somebody, why do not just take it or adapt it uh, in order to, to gain time, okay? Uh, so step eight. Okay, uh, so we have defined at the beginning the time frame uh, uh, because we need uh, to define and to consider uh, timelines. Okay, uh, that's the reason why uh, at, the, at, the, at the end uh, it's, it's, uh, it's important to meet the target date we have, uh, we have fixed during uh, during the project during before starting the project uh, we need to have uh, alternative solution uh, okay so solution a uh, in case of uh, what is uh, what is my escape route uh, so solution b or option b so it depends uh, sometime uh, perhaps uh, you have to go to uh, solution c uh, but ba basically, uh, two solutions, two, two alternatives, one alternative, so two solutions will be okay. Okay, uh, have a overchange ongoing at the same time? Yes, no, so it depends. Uh, but the reason why you need to uh, fix a strict uh, timeline and deadlines for that. And uh, do I create uh, new opportunities? new opportunities in terms of uh, whatever you want. Uh, it, it is not limited, it's limited to, uh, to, 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 to that subject. Okay, so step, uh, step uh, nine, sorry, step nine. Okay, uh, the step nine analysis of change. So, so I, I developed different step, but you can, where, 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 when you will be very familiar with that, you, you, manage, uh, you, you manage at your own discretion and, and you will see that basically when you start a safety study, when you start a management of, of change, just first framework. So uh, it's, big, it's like an investigation. When you start an investigation, uh, you investigate a standing event, you, you investigate the runway excursion, for example, you investigate uh, uh, loading problem and so on and so on. To, to correctly uh, investigate the event, you need to clarify, you, you, you start at this point and you end at this point. Okay, otherwise the same, you will spend a lot of resources, a lot of time, uh, to do to do the things, and he, at the end, he, he, it will not very clear for everybody. So first, first define the limit of your system, and and uh, and after that, uh, benchmark uh, data collection uh, and so on. And when you have analyzed the change, so by nature, each change will request flexibility and adaptability for sure. Gap analysis, we saw that previously, and you need to analyze what kind of barrier were in place. Are they strong enough, robust enough or not? I, have I to add new ones or I have to modify them or what else? So it will be part of the analysis of change, okay? Uh, next, so target of the change must be uh, evaluate, reevaluate added value of the change versus new risk. So 
for sure uh, you you had or you had a new uh, you modify your procedure for the uh, uh, escape slide escape slide uh, disarmament uh, disarming uh, so what is uh, what, what are the risks uh, with the new procedure where are the risks what are the risks and uh, how can i assess the the risk uh, regarding uh, regarding the, the, this change accordingly i will add i will modify some procedure some uh, barrier and so on perhaps i will add some training for uh, for uh, for the uh, flight ops or i will add some training for the maintenance guy so it depends it depends of my analysis okay uh, next uh, yeah 11 so transition analysis what is the best way uh, for a new uh, a new situation basically uh, when you move uh, from uh, state a to state b uh, so when you change something, uh, the best way, uh, the strongest barrier is a technological option. Uh, for example, we face in the past with a lot of runway excursion uh, due to uh, unstabilized approach, due to uh, due to rush approach, uh, due to wind shear, and so on. Whatever you want. Uh, so the technological option, uh, uh, which is the uh, runway, uh, the ROPS, so runway over one prevention system, is a very uh, strong option. So to answer to that kind of new uh, new accident family, runway extension, uh, runway excursion, sorry, uh, we may uh, add lot of company had, for example, what we call ROPS, Runway Overrun Prevention uh, System. Uh, second, uh, second level, second level uh, could be human factor. So human factor, you work, you work on the individual. Uh, it is not CRM. CRM, you, you work on the team. Uh, human factor, you work on the individual. So it could be an option. But the, the, an option uh, a little bit uh, weak in comparison with technical option. Okay, and at the end, uh, you may have the procedure, the training, the information promotion, and so on of uh, of the of the analysis. Okay, so you see that you have different level in your additional uh, additional work. Uh, additional barrier, additional defense, and it will be uh, it will be uh, uh, interesting to to proceed like that. Once again, I propose you a way to proceed. It is not it is not the truth. It is a way to proceed. And if you if you proceed like that, you will avoid to miss uh, to miss uh, some. Uh, some major uh, major uh, major step okay uh, so risk assessment at the end uh, so i don't know if you are familiar with bow tie or not very often people use bow tie bow tie is interesting uh, because uh, you see uh, it's interesting but but you need you, you, you need first to, uh, to clarify your wording, uh, because in the bow tie, somebody call uh, the top event, or never mind, but the top event, generic event, or something like that. On the left hand side, uh, you have uh, some uh, uh, defenses uh, to avoid to reach the top event. On, 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 on the other side, on the right side of the generic uh, event, uh, you have uh, some recovery defenses uh, to avoid to reach the accident. So, uh, Bota is is really interesting, but uh, it needs uh, to uh, really uh, clarify, define, 
terminology and so on. Okay, uh, I came back. I came back on uh, on my first uh, example, uh, which is uh, the uh, uh, mid-air collision. Uh, so uh, mid-air collision, uh, bow tie, uh, the generic event could be uh, excessive closure between uh, two 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 airplanes. But what you call excessive closure? Is it uh, uh, one nautical miles? Uh, 1,000 feet, uh, and so on and so on. So you see that uh, definition, clarification, uh, wording are, are very, are very important uh, when you perform an analysis, but also, also when you, you you perform an investigation or something like that. Okay, so uh, risk uh, must be accepted. Okay, in the new the new new situation, that's the reason why. Uh, you need the bow tie to see if your, your e risk evaluation is uh, sufficient, relevant, efficient or not. Uh, you need also data analysis. So data analysis, uh, what is, so, so it's quite clear for pilot because uh, all data are monitored uh, for the aircraft now, for, for the new aircraft, uh, except uh, very old 737, uh, except uh, very old 737, but up to now all all aircraft are, are, are uh, all, all parameters or flight data parameters are well uh, well uh, uh, record. Sorry, I'm sorry. Well, uh, are well record. So uh, data analysis uh, sometime uh, should be should be very interesting to to analyze. Uh, to analyze uh, your, your your modification, uh, your uh, change. Uh, example example uh, coming. I'm sorry, coming uh, coming from the uh, uh, flight uh, department. Uh, you plan to operate uh, to open a new route uh, on an airport located in a mountainous area. Uh, so it should be interesting uh, to look at the flight parameter uh, recorder uh, during the first flight to, to see if uh, what you put in place is sufficient or not, uh, or also perform some, uh, some uh, uh, analysis in tra simulator training and so on and so on. So it's, it's a way to proceed uh, to, to do that kind of, uh, that kind of operation. Uh, then risk assessment. Uh, risk assessment uh, means, uh, so uh, I have the same level, the same uh, acceptable safety level or not. Uh, I have increased uh, my severity because so, so, and so. I have increased uh, the likelihood uh, of uh, so, so, and so. so uh, we have to, to check that and mitigation. So behind that, what what does it mean? To keep uh, to keep the same level, the same safety level. Uh, if I do not reach the same or better uh, safety level, I have to uh, put additional barrier somewhere. So somewhere means uh, to maintain to maintain uh, the control of uh, my system. Or, so, uh, re referring to the bow tie, uh, to add some, uh, uh, some defenses on the left hand side of a generic event or right hand side of the generic event. Otherwise, uh, if, if your, if your uh, analysis, if your, uh, yeah, if your analysis show you that the uh, risk is increased for any reason, uh, you may you may cancel uh, cancel your operation and do not proceed and do not proceed uh, for the change. Uh, so uh, ba ba basically, uh, I, I discussed during uh, during the opening meeting. I told you that uh, the uh, the uh, management of change is a proactive way to proceed. Uh, so proactive means that before doing your change, you analyze everything, all the effect, and specifically, you analyze uh, the, uh, the risk assessment. Uh, 
And accordingly, if you are in a red, in your matrix, if you, if you fall down a red box, so you can implement, you can implement your change uh, and not, and not the, uh, basically what very happen often, uh, the boss told you, okay, you do that, you do that, you do that. And after that, you perform uh, a safety analysis, okay? So a management of change is really a proactive way to proceed and not a reactive way, okay? We have COVID, we react via some procedure in the cockpit, in maintenance, and so on and so on. Uh, but uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a global manner, uh, we may, uh, two years ago, we may imagine uh, we are safe. We plan in six months to have uh, a COVID somewhere, and we study what will imply. Okay, we are in a management of change, but it is not the case. Okay, so you, you, you see, management of change is really a, a, a proactive way to proceed, uh, to proceed and not a, a, a reactive. And very often, what happened in a company, the boss told you, uh, so uh, tomorrow we go over there uh, with uh, that kind of aircraft, uh, so, so, and so. Uh, okay, we do that. We receive, uh, we receive a report, we have feedback and so on. And, and at the end, uh, we perform a study analysis to see, uh, ah, yeah, but uh, we have to add uh, some, uh, some additional uh, uh, recommendation because uh, so, so, and so. Okay. So, uh, conclusion. Conclusion. Oh, yeah, conclusion. Oh. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> so, Pierre, we yeah. come back to step 12. For the first uh, line, both times, situation, what does it mean? Uh, I'm sorry, you are broken. I'm sorry, it's uh, co communication is unstable. I'm, I'm very sorry. Uh, it's me, can you explain? Otherwise, uh, could you write and uh, could, could you write? In, in in the bot in the bot uh, chat you, you you can you can write your your question can you explain in detail for the both kinds of situation here, can you hear us? Uh, yeah, both time model. Uh, both time model. Uh, so, uh, uh, both time model. Uh, let me let me check. Uh, you have two minutes. I go. I go in my in my records uh, to show you to show you uh, uh, how does it work. Uh, but I need I need uh, to uh, to to sort my uh, my presentation to try to to show you a good picture. Okay, you give me two minutes. Yes. Okay, stand by. Stand by. Đây nhá, thử dùng nhá. 
À, đối với quản lý rủi ro, cái phần rủi ro nhé, có thể mình có thể chấp nhận được trong những cái trường hợp như này, tại vì như Bota thì nó làm không hiểu rồi. Như phân tích dữ liệu này, hay là cái phần đánh giá của rủi ro hoặc là cái phần giảm thiểu này, thì có thể mình lấy nhưng mà cái rõ ràng là trong những cái tình huống mà giống như tình huống mà là cái Bota này, tại vì em nói cái mô hình đấy đúng là nó sẽ áp dụng như thế nào, có thể được chấp nhận trong trường hợp như thế nào. Cái này, cái, 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 Thế nên theo như em hiểu thì là đây nó chỉ là cái cái chung nó nằm ở trong cái phần risk và xét tuyệt Thế nếu mà là new situation thì nó có hiểu Hoặc là nếu mà nó sẽ đưa vào những cái tình huống mới và từng cái cái mô hình ở dưới Chẳng hạn em nói ví dụ là mình có cái là bây giờ thay vì mình mở cửa ở ngoài hay mình mở cửa bên trong chẳng hạn Thì nó sẽ đưa cái cái cái, cái mà procedure mở cửa bên ngoài vào cái mô hình của mô tay đấy mà sẽ phân tích bằng cái đó ở trong cái risk assessment. Tức là hiểu không là mình đưa ra một cái quy trình hoặc là một cái vấn đề thì nó mới là mình áp dụng những cái mình sẽ phải là cái giá của mình sẽ phải 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 nhưng nếu mà mình không hạn chế được thì nó sẽ tiến về bên trái thì lúc đấy là cái chi đường này thì đường nó sẽ nằm ở bên đường thế theo như em được biết là có 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 quả là hồi đầu áp dụng cái đấy là có một cô nhân viên mặt đất đây là tay có tay vào đấy hello 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 yes yeah yeah may 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 share you another screen yes yeah yeah so I I try I try to do that okay stop sharing now you can share so both I uh we we use botai basically when you we perform some uh, analysis uh we we use uh, we use uh, what we call botai we have a over model but uh, we can call that botai so on one side you have the threat for example the threat this morning we, we spoke about the uh the icing not, not really properly perform uh, for an aircraft so we have uh, some threat uh okay some threat on 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 one side on the other side you have uh, the accident scenario accident scenario should be mid-air collision should be uh loss of control in flight should be a lot of things so on the left side you have the threat right side you have the accident uh so typically you may have a lot of accident and in the middle you have what we call so somebody called unwanted event so uh, unwanted event uh, over call that generic event ne never mind so if i take the, the example of uh, of uh, the uh, runway excursion so runway excursion the accident should be uh, should, 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 should be a collision with the ground okay and what unwanted event should be uh unstabilized approach so uh and threat uh, as a threat uh, we may put uh, for example uh, bad weather condition uh, hurry up syndrome and so on and so on and uh in the middle after that why once you have defined a bow tie uh, why bow tie because you see that when you put left side right side and in the middle you have a like like uh, a bow tie, like a bow tie. And after that, uh, to avoid to reach the unwanted event, we put in place some barrier. What kind of barrier? Procedure, equipment, and so on, for example. This, so with barrier, uh, before, before the, the unwanted event, we, we call that uh, uh, control barrier. And uh, barrier after the event, we, we call that uh, recovery barrier. Okay, so the bow tie very often is presented like that, and and uh, and you 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 see uh, if I come back on my uh, uh, example of uh, Tika's example, so we uh, for any reason uh, threat coming from uh, somewhere uh, 
the training of the crew, uh, the equipment, and so on and so on, was not were not uh, very properly uh, properly um, managed. We arrive at the so M20 event could be uh, uh, to have uh, two airplane uh, close, uh, one from uh, the other. And as recovery barrier, we may have the TCAS system that prevent and alert the aircraft to avoid any mid-air collision. So just to, to show you uh, how does it work, uh, how the bow tie uh, works. Is it clearer or not for you? It's better. Okay. Understanding. Okay. I have a question. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. Okay. So we can back on the slide. Uh, which one? Conclusion? Uh, Conclusion slide step uh, 13. Uh, step Yes. Step 13. Step 13, it was this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think we have some questions. Yeah, go, go. Yes, uh, please, the gentleman, uh, can you just repeat your question? Yeah, I have a question about the uh, bow tie. Yeah. Yeah, uh, about uh, unwanted uh, event or top event. Uh, yeah. It's been top event is a risk. Right? No, uh, risk no? Uh, risk is uh, if, uh, severity, uh, likelihood of a scenario regarding severity. So risk is, uh, when you speak about risk, you speak about uh, uh, probability and, and uh, uh, severity. So top, top event, basically, uh, it, it is an event. It is an event. And before that, Either, either you speak, either you speak in terms of hazard, or you speak in terms of threat. Is it, is, it, is it clear or not? Yeah, yeah, it's clear. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay. thank you. Yeah. No problem. Okay, we continue. Yeah, yeah, continue. Yeah, please. Uh, Okay, uh, so conclusion, uh, the change management outcomes. So uh, we, we spoke we, we spoke a lot this morning uh, regarding a lot of things. Uh, I, I, I hope that you, 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 you are really, uh, really aware of, uh, of the uh, wording you use during, uh, during your analysis, uh, because if you want to be understood by all uh, interested party, all relevant party, uh, you need to uh, to really uh, clarify the wording you, you have. Okay, at the end, so you have performed your change management, uh, you know what happened uh, and so on. Everything is validated by your uh, SMS manager or by your CEO or accountable manager. So after that, after the validation, you need to uh, develop uh, to develop the action plan, uh, to develop a follow-up. Uh, to have a follow-up, you need uh, to define uh, to define some uh, uh, to define some indicator to check if what you put in place is sufficient, relevant, and effective. And, uh, and at the end, uh, also, you need uh, to communicate uh, what, you, what you have done uh, to avoid uh, any, any people reluctant uh, to be reluctant uh, to the change. So it's, uh, it's, 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 it's quite, uh, quite, uh, quite simple, quite, uh, quite evident to do that. Okay, next, uh, just a wrap up, uh, a wrap up uh, for the uh, for the run for the uh, analysis, change analysis, safety analysis. So the same, the way to proceed. You will use the same tools, uh, bow tie, uh, hazard log, uh, matrix, and so on. You will use the same the same tool, but after that, the methodology 
uh, the methodology is, is, is roughly is roughly the same. So you 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 start from a current state, okay? Uh, you start from a current state. Uh, uh, so no, you, you you yeah. Either you start from a current state or you start from what you expect to do, okay? Set the context. Uh, so the context once again clearly define the limit of your analysis uh interview survey communication data so you collect everything you you, you need uh, define as a framework a strategy okay priority where doing your analysis and so on define the goal uh, if you do not define the goal i want to change this procedure why uh, because I want to change the procedure. Why? Because I want to change the procedure. Uh, perhaps uh, it, it, it was, uh, it, it will be the wrong, the wrong way to proceed. Okay, so uh, clearly uh, when you perform a change, uh, the change uh, has, to be, has to be clearly defined uh, in order to be accepted by, by, by everybody. Okay, uh, it's simple or not. You go to a governance review. You go, uh, you, you 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 ratify, you refine and ratify your framework. So it just and after that you you put in place your your, your plan. So just to 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 summarize a little bit. Uh, once again, I I would like to point out uh, some some evidence. Uh, one clearly define the, uh, the framework of your job. Secondly, clearly define who will be involved in a, in a team uh, for the brainstorming. Look at what happened outside, benchmark, uh, collect data, and so on. And after, start your analysis, put in place, uh, start your analysis, start your uh, risk assessment, and after that, put in place what is necessary to improve or to keep the same safety level. Uh, and after that, you have to communicate uh, and to check that all you put in place uh, is, is relevant, efficient, and accepted by, by everybody. OK. If uh, if you have any question, uh, you can uh, you can raise your question, write your question. Uh, otherwise, uh, otherwise uh, for this morning, uh, I have finished my my presentation, and I would like uh, just to know your to have your feedback. Uh, uh, despite uh, all the problem, all technical problem, I would like to have your your, your feedback. Uh, because the interaction was not very good, uh, so uh, I would like to to know your to know your feedback regarding this uh, this day. Uh, excuse me, uh, because uh, we just said about the step by step how to do the chain management, but I'm not really, it's uh, better if you can show up a demo, uh, erase uh, a chain, a study, case study, and so on, you, you use a um, a tool and you describe how how you handle with case study step by step. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was broken. Uh, could you could you write uh, write the question? Yeah, could you write the question in the chat box or? Oh yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay, so basically what she said is that because it's very theory based today, so it's yeah. quite heavy on all the information. So um, some of the participants is wondering if you can show some case studies and shows like step by steps all the tools that you will be using 
um, yeah. for the change management. That would be better for them to understand because it's today was a lot of information. Okay, so uh, I plan to, I plan to do that tomorrow with uh, with the uh, practical exercise. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, so actually they want a demo first before they do the exercise, if that is okay. Uh, like you yeah. demo that part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 we can, we can, yeah. we can do that. So yeah. if you can do more one and then they can break into groups and do their own to see if they are doing it correctly. Uh, yeah, except except that uh, all my example, uh, all uh, all example I have provided you, uh, uh, I I propose you different approach. There, there is no one way to proceed. Uh, so depending on the uh, we are talking about the pushback operation, we are talking about uh, an aircraft without uh, IPU failure and so on and so on. We uh, I propose you a different approach. We, we, we don't have, uh, for, for my, uh, what we, we have to keep in mind is that uh, it is not necessary, it is not a, a, strict, a strict and formal procedure, uh, except, except for the analysis, except that first, you have to define the limit of your analysis. Secondly, who is involved in the, in, in the system? Uh, thirdly, so, so and so. That the only uh, big, big, uh, big steps. But uh, in my example, I will show you how to proceed. But it is not, uh, it is not a return in the marble. It's, uh, it's my, my way to proceed. Uh, I, I suppose you are frustrated with my answer. Uh, but, uh, but really, otherwise. Uh, give me an example and, and, and we do that together. Now, if you want. <laughs> yes, no? Uh, yes, tomorrow morning, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> everyone that, uh, yes, so we wait for tomorrow morning. For this. Okay, no problem. Uh, so for tomorrow, so you deliver the quiz uh, when you want. Yes. Uh, we start. Uh, we start at uh, nine o'clock with uh, the result or any question. You agree? Yes. yes. And and uh, and uh, and what? Either either we do the exercise. I mentioned, uh, could you show the last slide, please? The uh, last yes, we are on the last slide. Uh, no, no, the last slide is, uh, is, uh, is a list of uh, the uh, study case. Yes, here is a list, five lists. Ah, yeah, 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 here is a list. So uh, either we do that, what could be interesting, uh, I think, but tell me, tell me if you agree or not. You spend 15 minutes to, to, to try to work on it. You, you, you explain to everybody how you plan to manage that and the way to proceed from the entities. Do you agree with that? Sorry, your internet was unstable. Yeah, 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 same for me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, because in the... In... <laughs> just, just an example. Oh. Excuse me, can I can I uh, have uh, one suggestion, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Yes. Uh, can I please uh, suggest to add one more uh, topic in here? Uh, for example, I, I would like to have the the 
change no, manager no. Uh, uh, management of change for the for the topic of uh, uh, shareholder changing i mean shareholder changing for an allies so okay. Okay. Yeah, i i think uh, it could be useful for for, for me okay. in the future to uh, yes, okay no problem no problem but, okay but uh, be, be, be before be, before that so uh, change your shareholder okay uh, yes. first you, you have to define the <coughs> the, 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 the frame the frame is it in the company is it in a specific discipline dispatch flight ops and so on and so on so first you have to to limit the analysis because otherwise it's, it's it will be quite uh, quite difficult oh, a big topic right yeah uh, so, so you see you see what i mean because a shareholder yeah the shareholder uh, have a lot of shareholder uh, so uh, is it, is it uh, generally speaking, or is it uh, for flight? Is it for ground ops? Is it uh, for dispatch and so on? Uh, is it just shareholder or, or subcontractor, sub product subcontractor or function subcontractor, uh, subcontracted? Sorry, uh, perhaps yeah. you have uh, some function uh, who, are, uh, who are subcontracted. So. Uh, I, I, I agree to discuss about that. I agree right. to discuss with you and to share to share my my, my approach. But yes. first, first that, you that's to, right. Yes, you, you need to clarify the limit. Otherwise, it's it's uh, too too big, too big. Uh, oh. you, you, you understand why I, I tell you that? Uh, you, you, I I see your point. Basically, on on this. Uh, experience of uh, management of the chain for the, this topic we, we yeah. almost have a uh, you, you know nothing to uh, work on that's why maybe i i hope that uh, you have uh, experience about, about the you know the systematic knowledge about this topic and then uh, you can just uh guide us how to do what what we need to do about the the change of shareholder for example like that yeah, yeah. so so okay. so so it's quite uh, i have no experience for that uh, uh, generally speaking but but if we if we apply uh, a minimum of methodology first you have to uh, to to define uh, which domain are involved is it just uh, uh, flight ops is it uh, maintenance is it everybody so after that per uh, per discipline you have to list your uh, your present your current shareholder what are the job of the shareholder what do you plan to, why why you plan uh, to to move to other shareholder uh, is it for uh, financial reason is it for uh, resources is it and so on and so on after that uh, benchmark after after that report perhaps you have a lot of report regarding one shareholder because his job is not the right one or the good one so it's uh, it's uh, it's quite evident to 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 evaluate that so we we may i can i can help you during the methodology but at the uh, 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 to to start to start the studies first okay. you need to to clarify the framework to clarify the shareholder what, what is uh, uh, what is the implication of each shareholder in each department and uh, why you plan to move to one shareholder to another one is it to de to decrease uh, the resources uh, in case uh, if it is the case uh, you may lost uh, some expertise and so on and so on so uh, during the different exercise i show you different way to proceed uh, but there is no one way only one way to proceed to perform uh, to perform a, a management of change but uh, once again uh, you need you need to limit your analysis you limit your, 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 your change otherwise it will be uh, it, it will be very difficult to to evaluate any any risk to evaluate something or something like that after that you plan to change uh, sh shareholder today what are your uh, what are your uh, 
uh, your indicator uh, to, to I... say uh, this shareholder, yes, okay, it's a good one. I trust, uh, I trust this one. Uh, I would like to continue with the one, and so on and so on. So you need also for that to have already uh, prepared and or feedback or report regarding uh, such shareholder or this one. You, you see what I mean? I, 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 I can help you during, during the methodology and so on, but uh, uh, at first uh, you need, you, you need to, to, uh, to limit your analysis, otherwise uh, it, it, will be, it, will be, it will be a mess. Can I please suggest on the, the narrow down the, 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 the area of analysis on, uh, for example, for, for flight department, flight department and maintenance. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Flight to department. For example, when changing the shareholder, we want to do the analysis on the, you know, effect to the safety concerning with the flight and uh, maintenance department. Yeah. So is it uh, narrow enough, narrow down enough? So we uh, can yeah. do analysis yeah. on uh, yeah. maybe tomorrow, yeah. maybe tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, can, we, we, we can do that. But, but, uh, just I come back. A flight department, flight yes. department is 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 very yeah. very large. But because it was, is it is it is it documentation? Is it uh, is it a training organization? Uh, is it uh, uh, is it a, a product like uh, Jepsen, like uh, Lido, like and so on and so on? So, so you see what I mean? Uh, you, 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 you need to strictly define uh, where you plan to change. Okay, first one, why you want to do that? Uh, is it a question of quality of service? Is it uh, something like that uh, yeah, or, or expertise? And, and after that, you, you, you may proceed to a change. Uh, and, uh, but uh, at the beginning, uh, the, the scope the scope is too is too is too wide for me. Mm -hmm. The scope is too wide. You you, you see, uh, uh, I want I want to help you. No problem. I want to guide you. I want to 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 give my feedback and so on. But at the beginning, at first, uh, we we need we need to to clarify the uh, the, the domain. Uh, even if after that you extend you enlarge the domain. You, you may yeah. start with a new subcontractor uh, for the training course, okay? And after that, we enlarge, we enlarge the process to new subcontractor uh, for, uh, um, uh, for database, a new subcontractor for, uh, uh, for documentation, a new subcontractor for, for printing uh, services, and so on and so on. You, you see what I mean? Yeah. I think we should narrow down to uh, fly operation, DV, the, the department. So when we change the shareholder and then how and what we have to do to okay. Uh, okay. But, you know, improve but, or just at least keep the, yeah, yeah. the, so, the so safety Jay, level. Okay, we, yeah. we, we, we keep, uh, we, 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 we remain in the flight department. Uh, yeah, what kind of shareholder you have at the moment? Uh, the, the, the topic that I need your help to complete for change management in, in uh, this, this situation is, uh, for example, an alliance with the uh, yeah, initial yeah. shareholder, <laughs> and then now it changed to another one. So what we have to do, what we should do to, <laughs> to, to, to you know, ensure the safety level. The, like uh, you, you speak about you, you speak about about shareholders and not stakeholder. Yeah, this is shareholder. For example, it is like a chain, uh, like a chain, the, the, the shareholder to another one. Yeah, is that the is that the big chain, right? Like you mentioned ah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah, very it's, beginning it's, of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a deep one. change. Uh, it's a very deep, and uh, so 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 it's. Uh, uh, Unfortunately, it's 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 very difficult to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. So and and to evaluate uh, to evaluate. Yeah, I made a mistake. <coughs> uh, I understood stakeholder. No, 
you, this is a you shareholder. Can be shareholder. Yes. Yeah, shareholder, shareholder is quite difficult because you yeah. don't know your new, your, your new shareholder. You don't know uh, his policy. You don't know. So, so it's. Uh, uh, I'm afraid, but uh, for that, uh, I have I, I don't have any any feedback uh, from my side, and uh, I don't know. Uh, but basically, basically, uh, uh, when uh, when you do that, you you react, <laughs> you react instead of to be proactive, uh, because uh. Uh, so, so so I'm very sorry for this uh, this item, uh, shareholder. Uh, yeah, we can we can try to to work on that, but it's uh, uh, maybe too broad, right? Maybe it is it is yeah, 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 like a big too, project, right? So too yeah, many things. Yeah, it's yeah, not like a, to make a a, a task to go yeah, because the, it, the training, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. But behind that, behind the shareholder, you have a financial aspect, yeah. but you have a political aspect, uh, and. Uh, so, so, so it's quite, quite difficult to, to evaluate the political impact or, or something like that. Yes, in, in, the, in a marvelous world, it should, be, it should be interesting to work like that. I don't know, sincerely, between you and me, I don't know if, if a lot of company works on management of change regarding shareholder. Because a shareholder, no, no, it's it's quite difficult. It's I it's see. really uh, yeah. My, my my objective is more or less to work on uh, on subject uh, regarding uh, uh, process, procedure, and so on. But when you work on it, I can use the ball. You can use whatever you want. What is the risk? You change, you change shareholder. Where, where is the risk? The shareholder is not, is not uh, in, uh, has not enough money. Uh, has not. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where, where, where is. Uh, you, you, you see, when we speak about safety, uh, we speak about uh, what kind of accident uh, may I want uh, to avoid. You share. You change your your shareholder. Uh, what is the risk? Uh, what is the risk? I, I'm very sorry. I'm very, 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 very sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think oh, we, we just keep all the the, the, the same topic of uh, tomorrow. Uh, you know, practice tasks like this, and then I will follow up with the uh, your initial uh, well, yeah, 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 tasks yeah. like this. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 told me, for example. Uh, we plan to change in the maintenance uh, some uh, uh, stakeholder, so third party. Yes, okay. I can propose you a way to proceed uh, and so on. But uh, shareholder, uh, see, it's uh, it's uh, it's quite difficult. It's quite difficult. It's quite difficult. Subcontractor, yeah. We. I, I, I see. I see. I I think I will stop my uh, suggestion in here. I think it's not like a deserved for this training. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. So everybody, thank you very much for your participation. Very, very, very sorry and apologize for the di disturbance due to my Wi-Fi or I don't know, but uh, never mind. And uh, tomorrow we try to do our best to have a, a good, a good exchange. Okay. Okay. Done. Thank you very much and bye bye. Yes, bye, -bye. bye, -bye. See, you. See, you. See, you. see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you again. Bye bye. Thank you.